with Don Bird in another video about flash photography and also trying to show you one of the myths in photography about these things diffusion domes. These things go on the front of your flash and they're meant to diffuse the light. Now a lot of people make the mistake and think that that makes the light less harsh because it doesn't. There's two types of flash light that you can get. There's soft light and there's harsh light. Soft light you get is from maybe having your light bounce off walls, off the ceiling um, or an umbrella because that makes a nice big amount of area where the light is coming from and it hits your face nice and softly. It also is not direct light. So direct coming straight onto you goes straight back to the camera and that gives you all your kind of greasiness and your uh, kind of white shininess on your face. Just goes straight back. So it's flash, flash, straight there. But if you have the light coming from a slightly different angle, then you don't have this horrible, direct, harsh light. And some people think that having this diffusion dome makes it have soft light, but that's not true. And it doesn't make the light source any bigger either. So for example, I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to take a picture with the flash on my camera pointing straight at me. As you can see, that's giving me kind of shadows kind of right behind me and I just look at like a little bit like I'm a rabbit stuck in headlights kind of thing and it doesn't really look that nice a photo and I'm going to show you that if I put this diffusion dome on it doesn't really make much difference okay so that's the soft den on now as you can see the photos look almost identical you can't really tell the difference but if you look very carefully, you might notice that at the side of the image of the second one, it's slightly brighter than the side of the one before, but it's tiny, you barely notice it. So what it's actually doing is, it's not stopping the amount of light coming to hit me, but it's making a tiny bit more hit the walls beside me, which should help, but it doesn't really. Much better idea is actually just pointing your flash against the wall or against the ceiling. So for example, got the flash there, and this time, I'm going to point it up at my nice white ceiling. And because I'm, because I'm quite close, I'm going to put it really quite directly up the way. And what that should do is make a whole ceiling nice and bright and come down and hit me quite gently. But at the same time, light from directly above isn't that great, but if it's hitting the whole ceiling, it shouldn't be too bad. Let's give that a try. And there you can see in the image, the top part of the image is brighter. I wouldn't say it's really great exposure on my face, but I don't have that look of being stuck in headlights and I don't have the shadow directly behind me. What about if we hit it off a wall? Now, unfortunately in my room, the wall is green. So that would slightly change the color of the flash that's bouncing back. But here, so we've got the flash there, bouncing off that wall, and then it'll be hitting me. And there you can see it's hitting off to the left a little bit better, but the right is a little bit dark. So in the end, it's not really that much better. The best thing you can do really is getting an umbrella and doing portraits where you can actually control where the light is situated, not just over there. And also changing the size of the light that's actually hitting the subject. Generally, most of the time, if I were in a situation where I'm having to use flash, I would probably direct it off the ceiling. If the ceiling's too high, then that's not really possible. I would have the diffusion dome on it, but I would try and hold the flash in my hand and hold it from a different direction and use the, the Nikon CLS system where you can do remote flash triggering uh, without needing lots of wires and stuff like that. So I hope that's a little tip that you might have learned. And if you've got any questions, leave them down below. Thanks a lot. Bye.